Hey guys, it's Sex Nero with part two of these um, like non-standard arena teams video series. Except it's on a series, there's only gonna be two, which would have been one. Except part one was already like 25, 25 minutes long, so um, it's gotten broken up. So um, if you didn't watch part one, uh, which was a video using this. Tharja buffing team comp in the arena. Um, part two is going to be using this flyer team, um, and I, I kind of talked about it in the first video, but basically um, it uses Minerva's Ward flyers to buff Cordelia and Camilla, um, and then it has Lucina to deal with enemy um, enemy green units, um, and also possibly Takumi. So Robin would be a better counter to, to Takumi, but um, I don't want to take another blue unit because I, I've used this flying team like a little bit this past week and it really struggles with enemy green units so I really needed um, a red unit and I didn't want to use any of the other ones I had so yeah. Actually I suppose I could use Erica instead of Lucina just because Erica is one of the um, featured like arena units this week but I think I'd rather take Lucina so whatever I'm not like doing these to get a high score or anything I'm just doing these for fun so it doesn't super matter what uh, what the score in the end is so this battle's got a Hector that was the other reason I, I wanted to take Lucina is because um this team just can't deal with Hector either, so that was being a problem. So, let's see. Uh, Minerva probably can kill Abel, and then Camilla cannot kill Tiki, but Cordelia can kill Tiki, which is great. Um, and she'll be out of range of, um, Azura. Let's see, do a selector. Um, I think, um, I say this in the video, but I can talk about it a little bit more here, that flying, ooh, 57 damage, wow. Flying, like, flying teams are probably not going to be as viable as, like, all cavalry teams or, like, all armored teams or something like that, um, because the weakness to archers is just really really detrimental, whereas, um, like, the, the, um, super effective cavalry tomes are not super common, and, um, there aren't that many units that run armor slayer or hammers or heavy lances, so I, um, I don't see flying teams becoming really at any point super popular. Because like in like hypothetically like if all reposition if if you like if if all cavalry or all armored unit teams become like more popular, they're dang it doesn't kill me armor no it doesn't kill my feet. Um, you can kill Tiki though. Maybe, I'm gonna kind of take this risk, and I'm gonna kill Tiki, and then I'm gonna attack Effie with Minerva. It's gonna be super risky, but... I wish she had, um, the one that reduces damage from one tile away instead of Sacred Cal.
So you're going to get 6 attack when she initiates combat. So actually, this is a really crappy idea. One of my units is going to die here because I screwed up. Hopefully she attacks Lucina though. Nope, she attacks Narva. God damn it. Gotta back up. Cordelia probably will get killed by Effie. Um, I could put Lucina here and just not attack. Oh, but that doesn't save her from Effie. Whatever, she could move on to the. Yeah, she gets one shot. Uh, I've been trying to pull Effie and it hasn't worked. I was trying to, um, I was pulling only green and blue orbs to try and get Azura, Effie, or Hector, and I got none of them, which was really unfortunate, but it's gotcha, so it's, it's the way it works. I got, I got, I got some good units, though. There'll be a video about that later on. Um, so I probably, I, I probably could have won this battle without losing a unit, but... I was impatient, because if I waited for Camilla to just get to the northern part of the map, it would have been fine, but I just, I, I just wanted to go in, so, whatever. Um, but, kind of going back to the thing I was talking about earlier about, like, cavalry and armor unit, like, that, like, teams that use a core, like, maybe, like, two, two or three cavalry or armor units with either, like, goad or ward cavalry, goad or ward, um, armored units, um, those teams are going to be more viable because if you run armor slayer or, um, like the, like, armor slayer, heavy spear, and hammers, um, those units, like, are really only good for that, like, because I, if I recall correctly, the might on those weapons is kind of low, so, um, it, it behooves them, like, like they're, they're like, a specific counter to that thing, and if you're not, f base, like, battling that thing, then it can be kind of a problem. Um, I can put, I can kill Julia with Camilla, and she'll be okay, because she can survive Lind. Um, and then I'm also going to move Minerva over to give her the, uh, ward buff. Ooh, and she got Savage Blows, how useful. So, Ward Flyers has allies within two, which means, like, which... Which is really, really, really good. Um, because it means I don't have to be adjacent, and I also don't have to be adjacent at the start of the turn. So, like, Camilla's still going to get the buff when Lind attacks her this next turn. Um, and then, obviously, Lucina has to get out of the way. Um, and Camilla is... Or not, Cordelia can just go here. Um, yeah, so she takes six damage, which is, like, nothing. But... Now, the problem is that Lucina will really kill Camilla if I don't do anything about it. I kind of just have to, like, bait her way out here. Um... So now I should be able to kill her with Lind, and then Lind can deal with Lucina. Because if I killed Lind when she was over here, I would have had to kill her with Camilla, and then she would have just died to Lucina, which would have been obviously bad. Um. So Cordelia can deal with Lucina, and then my Lucina will deal with their Hector. I don't really like the Hector art. I feel like he doesn't look quite as cool. Let's 
So if she had Pavis instead of Holy Vestments, she would be so much better. Sacred Cow, I mean. I feel like she would be much more effective. Because, like, her res is so low that you're never going to want to put her in range of a, of a range 2 unit anyways. And 30% damage mitigation isn't enough for her to survive usually. And so it would just be more useful if it were, um... If it were, um, one tile away. Because, like, sometimes she is in combat with units that are one tile away and it would actually be useful. Okay, so here's another Effie team. And this time we're gonna deal with it better. Although we do have to deal with this guy first. But Lucina can just kill him, so that worked out well. It's a shame that Leo is not a great unit. I hope she goes onto the wood tile. Ooh, Camilla, I forgot she had flyer, so. How am I gonna deal with it? Um. You know. Why, why is her attack so low? Why is her Camilla doing more damage than mine? I don't know. She's gonna get Drakkar to Aura. Which, oh, I'm gonna get it too here, which is. Nice, but she's gonna get it on her return, and her attack just does poor. So that's unfortunate. My my Camilla's minus attack, which is unfortunate, and it's also why she does less damage. Um. So this is really bad because now I have to deal with Effie, and my nerf is super low. Um. I think it might be okay. So this is 26 damage. Um, and this will get her down to 27 damage. And then I guess Lucina can come in. Oh, wait. Um, we're gonna use Cordelia instead of Lucina because um, Minerva has, has to be the last one to attack. Because obviously she's so low that she'll die on the on the counter, so um, Cordelia has to go next. Wow, Effie is so good. I really want Effie. I rolled Effie the first week, and I was like, I don't want an armored unit. They only have one 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 movement. This is crap. And so I sent her home, which was such a mistake. I think I actually rolled two Effies, and I sent both of them home, which just Ugh, get past me, why did you do that? Um. She'll survive it, she'll get Ether on the next turn anyways, so. So, that, that was a better dealing with Effie, you know? Um, yeah, that, that went much better than, than the previous Effie battle. Because, obviously, like, this team can deal with her, it's just, if you rush in, then it doesn't work as well. Like, just generally, you want- this person's a really long Chinese name, wow. Um, this person has a healer. Sakura? is top notch. Um, yeah, like Effie, like you want to basically just always leave the armored units to last because, um, yeah. I think Cordelia or Lucina can kill, can kill her, but um, what would be great is if, ugh, Lucina takes so much damage. See, I, I, I kind of want to kill, what I want to do is I want to put, have Lucina kill, kill Sakura, and Lucina kill Tiki, but Lucina's going to take so much damage because she doesn't, um, actually what I can do is I can kill Tiki here, and then, she takes no damage from Tiki, and like she only has 29 res, so the Ward Flyer's buff is like really helping out. Oh my god, Lucina doesn't kill Sakura, what? 
shopping. Um, so I'm actually just not. Actually, I could. Well. Because uh, I really. Whatever. Just a kudo can just live. It'll be fine. I, I, I really don't want to. Um, oh, wow. That was interesting. Um, Whoa, this guy. Does a ton of damage. Alright. 55 attack. Maybe he's plus attack, because I don't think he normally has 55 attack. Okay, this is a problem, actually. Okay, no, it's not a problem. Cordelia gets the um, triple kill here and saves. So that was just the map. But Cordelia and Minerva just did nothing. Um, crap. I'm going to put her here and let him engage on me. And then kill him the next turn. Um, yeah. The bees won't save him. What was really interesting there, actually, is that by attacking on my turn, Hector got the Armad's um, extra counterattack, and so he actually would have done more damage to Lucina if I engaged on him than if I let him engage on me, which is really interesting. Like, I feel like that's how armor demons go, like, they're, they're scary because you can't attack them, they're not scary because on their turn they're just, like, obviously on their turn they do a lot of damage too, but they're just really, like, hard to approach. Um, yeah. Another Hector. Did I fancy just Cordelia putting in a lot of work again? I think I, I used to really dislike this map, but I think I'm just like getting used to it because basically what I do now is I just um I always just go up one bridge. I don't go up both bridges at the same time. I just pick one bridge, which uh, works out. Um, Minerva has such low. I'm just gonna put her here. She'll still give the buff because they're in range of two, and Cordelia can deal with Lucina just fine. Ooh, she's gonna get Gale Force this turn. Yay. So she could pick up a double kill. Like, if she hadn't gotten Gale Force, basically, like, Camilla would have just killed Robin. But, um, she got the Gale Force. Oh, wow, she didn't kill Robin. Damn. So Camilla's gonna swoop in and get Gale Force. Or not get Gale Force, get the kill. And then Lucina is here for Hector, basically. Um,. I think this map is also much easier when you have three flyers, because they're like, just give no fucks about terrain. But, um, I think just going up one one of the bridges, especially going up the the bridge on the right, I think is generally the better, better plan. Um, did I use a dueling crest? I did. This is much shorter than the other video, I wonder why. Um. So I, I've done, I, I guess that means I've done six battles, so that was this flying team. I like it. It's fun. It's not like super viable. Like we didn't run into any Takumis. Um, and so if we had, we probably would have lost a battle, but, um, yeah, Ward Flyers is really cool. Um, I also have, <clears throat> excuse me, I also have Hinoka who has, um, Hone Flyers, which is really great, but the problem with Hinoka is that she just got like she she's just bad. Like her stat total is um like one sixty, and of course Cordelia is one sixty as well. But the thing about Cordelia is that if you look at where her stats are distributed, um, for one, okay, so she has three more three more speed, um, and she's got eight less health, but she's got substantially more res, which um. Like, the way this game works out is that HP is not a good stat. Um, it's better to have more defense or more um, resistance because, um, like, plus HP is just not useful. Um, and so having the extra res resistance instead of the extra HP is, is so much better for um, the 160 stat total. And so, like, I don't... And plus Blazing Wind is total crap. 
And, um, yeah, like, I, I, I like Hinoka in theory, but the stat distribution is just terrible. Um, so I, I kind of want to use Hone Flyers, but I'm, like, basically she'd be, like, a, like the equi equivalent of, like, a rally bot. Like, she would just stand there to give the buff. She wouldn't actually do anything, which seems like a waste of a, a unit slot. So, um, that's why I was using, um, just one plot and buff. Um, but, so, hopefully you found that interesting, um, and I invite people to, um, especially, like, when you've gotten the highest score in the arena, you know that, you know that you can get, just, like, run some stupid teams and, like, have a little fun, do something different. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear about what kind of teams people are running and, um, things like that. So, thanks for watching. Like the video, drop a comment, subscribe for more Fire Emblem content.